Decommunization is a process of dismantling the legacies of the communist state establishments, culture, and psychology in the post-communist states. It is sometimes referred to as political cleansing. The term is most commonly applied to the former countries of the Eastern Bloc and the post-Soviet states to describe a number of legal and social changes during their periods of post-communism. In some states decommunization included bans on communist symbols. While sharing common traits the processes of decommunization have run differently in different states. <laughs> decommunization organizations Topic. Investigators and prosecutors Cambodia, the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia Czech Republic, the Office of the Documentation and the Investigation of the Crimes of Communism Slovakia, the Institute of National Memory Ustav Pamati Naroda SK. Estonia, the Estonian International Commission for Investigation of Crimes Against Humanity Germany, the Federal Commissioner for the Stasi Records BSTU. Indonesia, the New Order Government Hungary, the Institute for the History of the 1956 Hungarian Revolution Lithuania, the Lithuanian Center for the Research of Genocide and Resistance Poland, the Institute of National Remembrance — Commission for the Prosecution of Crimes Against the Polish Nation Romania, the Institute for the Investigation of Communist Crimes in Romania Moldova, the Commission for the Study of the Communist Dictatorship in Moldova Ukraine, the Ukrainian Institute of National Remembrance Topic. Prosecution of former communists Lustration came to refer to government policies of limiting the participation of former communists, and especially informants of the communist secret police, in the successor political appointee positions or even in civil service positions. Topic. Prosecution of communist state leaders Afghanistan – Mohammad Najibullah was sentenced to death and hanged. Bulgaria – Todor Zhivkov was sentenced to seven years in prison, but served only one day because he was freed for health reasons. Cambodia – Kong Kekiew is so far the only indicted Khmer Rouge leader, while Pol Pot and others lived free without charges. East Germany – Erich Honecker was arrested, but soon released due to ill health. Several people, such as Egan Krenz, were convicted. Ethiopia – Mengistu Haile Mariam sentenced to death in absentia Poland – Wojciech Jaruzelski avoided most court appearances citing poor health. He died in 2014. Romania – Nicolae Ceausescu was sentenced to death and executed. Results Communist parties outside the Baltic states were not outlawed and their members were not prosecuted. Just a few places attempted to exclude even members of communist secret services from decision making. In a number of countries, the Communist Party simply changed its name and continued to function. Stephen Holmes of the University of Chicago argued in 1996 that after a period of active decommunization, it was met with a near universal failure. After the introduction of lustration, demand for scapegoats has become relatively low, and former communists have been elected for high governmental and other administrative positions. Holmes notes that the only real exception was former East Germany, where thousands of former Stasi informers have been fired from public positions. Holmes suggests the following reasons for the turnoff of decommunization. After 45 to 70 years of state communism, nearly every family has members associated with the state. After the initial desire to root out the Reds, came a realization that massive punishment is wrong and finding only some guilty is hardly justice. The urgency of the current economic problems of post-communism makes the crimes of the communist past old news for many citizens. Decommunization is believed to be a power game of elites. The difficulty of dislodging the social elite makes it require a totalitarian state to disenfranchise the enemies of the people quickly and efficiently and a desire for normalcy overcomes the desire for punitive justice. Very few people have a perfectly clean slate and so are available to fill the positions that require significant expertise. 
People begin remembering that Lenin's idea, though misattributed from Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, a poem critical of Lenin, by Vladimir Mayakovsky, that every cookwoman may govern the state, failed. <laughs> Deaths attributed to decommunization Matthew White found an LA Times article from 1998 and a Times of London article from 2000, which both reported that from 3 to 6 million Russians and natives of other former communist states died or were not born due to decreased living conditions after the fall of communism. See also Anti-communism Communist crimes in Polish legal system Decommunization in Russia Decommunization in Ukraine Denazification Destalinization Galaniad Lustration in Poland Proclamation of Timisora Vergangenheitsbeweltiging Estonian International Commission for Investigation of Crimes Against Humanity Bans on Communist Symbols References <references>